At Pillow Academy of Barcelona, the greatest energy we put into a training session is during the training games. It'll occupy about 30 minutes. And it can be anything from 1v1, very intense, to 11v11. Every variation, depending upon the age. Obviously, if we're working the seven aside, we'll work from 1v1s to 7v7. But we can also add numerical advantage. We can change the dimensions. We can change the way we score, dribble goals, two goals, big goals, to a full 7v7 match. As we move into the nine aside, obviously we expand that training game portfolio up through 8v8 and 9v9. Again, to support the cognitive development, the development of competencies, and the development of their character. And finally, the ultimate would be the 11 aside. So our portfolio for 11 aside players may also include 1v1, 4v4, 7v7s, 9v9s, but can they expand also to 11 aside? And if we're doing that, we're playing a full scrimmage. Again, each training and exercise carries a great physical load, a great cognitive load, and a load on their ability to execute decisions in context under pressure. And every child will tell you who has ever played the game, the training games are the most fun, dynamic, engaging part of training. So we give that to them knowing it is also our best tool as coaches to teach every component of the game, technically and tactically, and in terms of nurturing their character, to be competitive players. Now that we have a basic framework for what training games are and why they are used, let's take a look at one example of a training game. In this exercise, we have two teams of five playing against each other. One team is attacking a full-size goal with a goalkeeper. The other is attacking a set of two smaller goals placed side by side. This game also includes two neutral all-time offense players on either side of the drill to aid in the team's attacking efforts. As you can see, this game is quite small, which encourages lots of shooting and attempts on goal. It's a fun and effective way to develop players in a competitive, game-like environment. This drill could be modified in a variety of ways to create new training game variations. For example, you could change the types of goals used on either side, you could modify the size and shape of the space, the number of players, the number of neutrals, and more all depending on what your goals are as a coach. We hope this video gave you a good baseline for how to use training games in your practice sessions. If you're looking for more great football content or training ideas, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel. And if you're looking for a tool to organize all of your club's training resources and content, be sure to check out 360 Player, the all-in-one platform for sports organizations. 360 Player has everything modern sports clubs need in one place, from communication, payments, development tools, and much, much more. If this sounds interesting, fill in your details on our website, and one of our representatives can show you what 360 Player can offer in more detail. Thanks so much for watching this video, and we hope to see you in another one soon.